What a great story this is. What started out as a woman lost and looking for directions has now turned into a special friendship. Last night on News Channel 5, we told you how a writer in Virginia met a woman from Cleveland and was so taken with her spunk and personality that he reached out on Facebook to see if anyone could help him find her. Live on your site, investigator Jonathan Walsh jumped into action. Jonathan, you helped them reunite just hours ago. Yeah, after our story aired last night, Lee, with help from our viewers, we were able to track down Anita Hughes. Now, she is an amazing woman who was thrilled that we wanted to help. Does this guy look familiar? Yes, yes, he does look familiar. He looks very familiar. <laughs> Early this afternoon, I told Anita Hughes that the mystery man who gave her directions when she was lost in North Carolina was actually looking for her. She couldn't contain her emotions. And he would not let me get lost. He was so, so nice. It's an honor, a privilege. I am just totally elated. I cannot believe I'm on the news. His name is Jason F. Wright. He's a writer from Virginia. After giving her directions, he snapped this selfie of the two in front of a 7-Eleven, but he never got her name. He posted on Facebook later about wanting to see her again. So, later this afternoon... This is Jason. <laughs> After we sent messages to Jason, we got Anita and Jason together through Skype. I honestly never thought there was any chance we'd be able to connect again, so I'm just thrilled. This technology is such a great blessing. Now there are plans to get together again, this time in person. One day we're going to get in the car and come see you. How about that? When? When? You know I don't have directions, so I. <laughs> I'm telling you, she is fantastic. Now, the long, touching post Jason put on Facebook has since been shared more than 220 times. Coming up at 6, find out why Anita says this whole situation has helped her in more ways than you can imagine. Pretty cool. We'll see you at 6. I'm investigator Jonathan Walsh, News Channel 5. I, I got a feeling when she sees him, she's going to tackle him. <laughs> <laughs>